हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू री टारगेट कॉमन यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम आमोद एंड दिस विल बी अनदर वीडियो इन दिस एपिसोड फ्रेमवर्क डेवलपमेंट एंड टू एंड प्ले लिस्ट सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव क्रिएटिव वन यूटिलिटी विच विल हेल्प टू कॉल ए पोस्ट मैथड विथ दिस थ्री पैरामीटर्स सो विल ओवरलोड दिस मैथड लेटर बिकॉज इन सम पोस्ट कॉल वी मे रिक्वायर extra details like authentication some different configuration so those things will be keep adding with our another test cases or another api so we have identified some problems in this uh, approach so first was were like uh, repeated code operation so chaining method so for that i have created this util another one we can see here we have hard coded the payload here and if you want to change any value it is really difficult here okay so in this episode or in general we have we can have multiple ways to create a request body you can use a string you can use a map you can use the json object or json array based on your uh, payload we can also use a json file okay so there are different ways so let's try to create those ways one by one not we are not going to cover everything in one video but slowly we'll cover different approaches as well so for that what i'm going to do what i said that first let me create a method which will allow you to create a payload for creating an airline with some custom data means you need to pass those data and it will return you a payload so that that method or that method to create a payload should not be part of a framework why because no you are only going to use this uh, create a lan payload you other team may not require this one until unless they are using the, your api so what we need to do those things that payload class i am going to create under the test package so inside this a line only i am going to create another package and the package name will be payloads so i created the package it is better to create a class actually under the airlines i will create a new class payloads so i should have one utility which will create a payload json payload with the data provided by user so let me create a simple method public static i cannot put void so what i will do i will put a string because i want to return the payload right so a string i can create like get create airline payload so before that i am going with very hectic way but still i want to show you that what i'm going to do i will go to postman i'll copy this request okay and i'm going to paste it here string payload like this okay what i am asking okay pass me id pass me name i am taking all the parameters value from user so here you can see i have added all the parameters now let me parameter this string so instead of this value i will do this so that whatever id will be sent by the user this will be replaced same thing will go for everything so let me do it quickly so i have already parameterized this string with the variable names whatever will be passed from user and i will return this payload okay so suppose if anything is changing in future or anything is removed so we simply need to edit it here if you are going to use like this so you may need to edit in multiple places okay so it's it's not a good approach even this is also not a good approach but yeah we are at the beginner beginning so i am just taking everything slowly and we will update our framework but you should know okay but again this is now it's it's not like that this is bad if your payload is always like this and you need to pass all the values okay then it's good right because we have a hard coded json and there will be less chances that it will be changed so this is good you can use this approach as well so let me use this one in this one So instead of hard coding like this, I will do, I will do like payload dot get create airline payload. Here I have to pass the data. So for that I will again copy all the data from here. 
so let me do it quickly i will change the id so here i have created parson value okay and this method will give me the payload same payload will be used here and let me run this program now okay so we can see our test cases are passing right with this method so again whatever method we created just now this is again not part of a framework this is part of your test i am just i am just not only teaching you creating the framework but also how can you write the proper test cases if you see here we have hard coded like this one string okay and it will really difficult suppose if you want to remove the logo or if you want to add some fields so it will really difficult here so what can be another approach using a map or a json object so what i'm going to do i'm going to just overload this method okay and not overload actually i will create another method itself okay so payload from string simply rename it and this from map okay so what i am going to do here i will just remove this string part and i will create one map a string and i will do object because it can have any value then payload equal to new hash map why i need to use hash map because this this is a json object okay and for json object we can use map that concept i have already covered in my dss code concept concept so let me go and add the fields it's very simple just need to add the fields and value we have and here it will be a map okay here it is returning a string here it is returning a map so let me use the new method and it will return as a map if you see this our method perform post it is accepting the payload as a string so i have the payload as a map so obviously this method will not work so you have two options what you can do you can copy paste and create another method and instead of a string put a map okay like this you can do even if you replace or just in stop string you put the object then also this method will work okay and because we know that this body is overloaded in ss suite and you can pass so many types here okay it will accept file you can see it is accepting string byte file object anything it is accepting okay so but since we are creating some way so that it will be easy for others to use so when whenever they will see this method they will understand okay for this i am passing a string request payload for here i can pass the map you can combine this two method you can have one string object here instead of instead of a string but i will suggest to keep both the method it's overloaded okay it is taking the string another is taking map okay you can see error is gone let me just change the id again and let me run the program okay done so test case is passed so whatever we learn in this video we didn't add anything in framework but we learn how can we create better test okay so that's all in this video we'll see another concept in next video if you have any doubt please comment to this video if you want to give any suggestion please comment that as well in video in the comment section if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone